This is John Watts. I'm a foreclosure defense attorney in Birmingham, Alabama. A question we're often asked by people who have been foreclosed and have then been sued by the mortgage company or maybe by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, uh, and they want to hire us to come in and defend that case, and then if it's appropriate to file a counterclaim against Chase, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, whoever it may be, uh, the, the question is asked, how do you resolve the case? How does it end? Well, it can obviously end by going to trial, uh, but in terms of a settlement, the way it ends is with three documents. Number one is there needs to be a consent judgment, and that's where the judge signs an order that says that foreclosure and the foreclosure deed that's recorded in probate court it's worthless. It's gone. It's meaningless. Uh, it's been declared void. And so that undoes the foreclosure. But now we need to figure out, well, what's your loan going to be? What's the interest rate, the amount owed, uh, the term of the note, all those types of things. Well, that normally is accomplished in the second document, and that is often called a loan modification or a loan agreement. And so we set aside the foreclosure, we get an agreement on what you're going to be paying, interest rate, terms, all those types of things. And then the final document is a settlement release. And in a, let's take a car wreck or sue in a debt collector, you may not need a release. It's just a matter of you drop your suit and they pay you money. But in a mortgage case, we often need a release because uh, we often want uh, changes made to the credit report. And so we want that spelled out exactly what that's going to be. We want the mortgage company to pay money. It may be $1,000, $10,000, $50,000, dollars $100,000, whatever is appropriate based on their wrongdoing towards you. And so... All of these documents kind of come together to bring about the ultimate settlement. So undo the foreclosure, figure out what the loan's going to be, get the settlement release that says what each party's going to do, and then the case is resolved. So we'll go over these in more detail, but wanted to just give you kind of an overview of it, and I hope this has been helpful to you. If you live in Alabama and you are either facing a foreclosure or maybe you already have, and you'd like to chat with us, my name is John Watts, W-A-T-T-S. You can reach me at 205-879-2447 or contact us through our website, alabamaconsumer.com. Thank you very much.